Yo guys and welcome back to this new video here on the channel. On today's video I will be discussing the Bitcoin price action where we have been seeing a beautiful upward sloping parallel channel getting created here. And right now we decrease very significantly but are we going to go for another retest of this parallel channel to of course continue the trend up here or are we going to break the lower side and are we going to finally cool off for Bitcoin ever so slightly. So if this sounds interesting for you make sure to right away smash up that like button as well if you have not been subscribing to the channel yet here make sure to do so right now and if you don't want to be missing out on all these time related updates make sure to smash up the bell notification button as well so with this have being said guys let me go right away into today's video and let me start off with discussing the bitcoin one early prediction so we all know that yesterday we were looking at this beautiful symmetrical triangle over here and we saw a massive fake out towards the upside like we of course told everyone about on our Twitter page. Uh, but since seeing that massive fake out, we moved as well towards the downside and we were retesting this very critical level of previous resistance like you can see over here. So it was very likely to assume and it was also telling it to you guys on Twitter that we were going to see a very significant bounce. So yeah, we clearly saw a significant bounce back towards the upside, but right now we are creating a lower high trajectory we are forming like you can see over here a clear resistance line right now from the top side to the lower side and we are currently of course forming lower highs so this is pretty unfortunate to see because this is right now signifying that we are in a downtrend and right now as well we formed a low uh, together with a lower low and of course if you're forming a low with a lower low and as well lower highs it is clearly giving us a signal that we are currently in a downtrend and right now bitcoin is trying to fight back here but i will be definitely trading with the trend since the one error is right now towards the downside i should be rather look at short positions here so um, let me as well identify some things here and let me as well talk about a potential um yeah, important support and resist line here. So you can see over here uh, that we have been forming a beautiful upper sloping support line over here with already three touch points right now here. And we are showing very clear significance of a very strong level that could be, of course, provide Bitcoin an extreme strong bounce here. So we are right now trying to fight back our way up here. And as well, the top side here, the resistance, resistance, also clear three touch points over here. So it could be, of course, that we are heading towards an apex and it could be that we are, are going to see a breakout anytime soon here since support and resistance will come closer uh, with each other anytime soon here. But this clearly over here, um, this stage over here, what we were seeing over there uh, was clearly a sign for me of manipulation. We were seeing, of course, the prices driving up. And after that, um, it looks to be that the wills were maybe testing liquidity once again. And they drop, of course, the price very significantly. And we are right now moving up once again. And uh, we are, of course, looking for the next uh, the next major move that we are about to get creating here. So that was pretty interesting that we were seeing that. But let me move further on um, towards some momentum indicators right on the one early candle. So I do want to be admitting that the one early candles are, uh, yeah, a little bit oversold right now. So the one early candles are right now pretty oversold. So it's generally speaking, never a bad accumulation zone once Bitcoin is oversold. So the RSI is currently giving me a buying uh, opportunity, of course, as well. If I'm looking to the MACD, I'm seeing a bullish divergence right now playing out here on the RSI. So as soon as this candle will be closing, is this 30-minute um, candle will be closing, I will be... Um, and looking to, of course, accumulate more Bitcoin since this is as well giving me a trend reversal since we are forming a higher low here, sorry, a lower low here on the MACD and a higher low here on the price action, giving me a signal of a bullish divergence. But let me right now move on towards the one hourly candles. And on the one hourly candles, the um, RSI is looking very healthy towards the downside. So it looks to be that we're going to continue our trend down here. And for the ones that are very interested in a long position here, I will be, uh, sorry, a long or short position. I will be for sure still saying this uh, on this whole top side over here. I was always saying you can better look for shorts than longs. And I will be still saying so. I will be maybe as well open a short position anytime soon here um, on Bybit. And if I will be doing so, you can be signing up here right now with the link in the description. And what will be very important here is that you're going to sign up already here. So the reason why here is since if I will be making a tweet here on my Twitter account that you also want to be following if you want to be joining me with my next trade here. And I'm giving you guys this setup. And you have to know the last seven Seven days or so we have not been trading that much here since there is no opportunity and i only take good opportunities so please be a little bit cautious be a little bit um 
Yeah, careful. And give me some time since I will be only taking good opportunities in the market. So if you're following me here right now, at RoverCUC on Twitter, you will be staying up to date about the next trade out that I will be taking. And if you're as well going to sign up already with Bybit, you will be having your account already set up here. Since if your account is not set up, you could be probably not take the next trade that we are going to announce there. And of course, if you're taking on a different platform, the digits are as well a little bit different. So your entry price will as well be a little bit different. So yeah, I should just highly suggest as well sign up with Bybit it here as well it's a very uh, generally speaking very nice platform it's very user friendly and we will be having a competition on it anytime soon here so you could be already setting up your account so guys uh, make sure to check it out link in the description here and you will be as well getting a $1,680 US deposit bonus where you could be depositing some funds and after that you can be withdrawing the funds and you will be still having the deposit bonus. So definitely make sure to check that out. It's definitely worth to uh, have a look at it. So right now, Bitcoin as well. Let me discuss the four hourly candles. We already discussed this resist line here several times. Um, but yesterday we saw also another two touches getting added. Of course, we were seeing uh, two touch points getting added on this resistance line here. So yeah, we are seeing clear resistance on the four hourly candles getting formed there as well we could be uh, looking at this significant parallel channel right now on bitcoin this parallel channel of course um is, is definitely towards the upside and right now i'm saying the one hourly candles are in a downtrend but the four hourly candles are in an uptrend so i'm bearish on the one hour but bullish on the four hour that is just how a trade works uh, if you uh, some people just don't understand me since i'm bullish and bearish uh, on different time frames but right now on the four hour i'm still bullish one hour i'm bearish and as well the daily i'm getting a little bit bearish but i will be explaining that in a second here so you can see the reason why i'm bullish here is since the trend is all your friends it's always your friend till it ends here and right now the trend is still based towards the upside where the trend on the one hourly candles is towards the downside so for me in order to flip bullish i definitely want to be seeing signs of a trend reversal and we are currently not seeing it yet here so um if we're as well looking to the momentum here uh, this is getting me of course a little bit more bearish here right now on the four hourly candles since the momentum looks to be very significantly cooling off right now for the bitcoin price action and it looks to be that we could be seeing a reversal here maybe back towards the 40k zone before once again moving up for bitcoin and the reason why I'm saying so is, first of all, um, if you look to the uh, relative strength index, the RSI, you can see we are forming lower highs. We form, uh, we are forming lower highs, signifying once again that we are losing strength here. The buyers are losing strength, but the prices are still driving up. And of course, the strength of the buyers is moving down here and the sellers are getting stronger in the market. As well, if we're looking to the MACD and if we're taking a look to the histogram, you can clearly see right now the buyers are losing strength. We are forming a lower high here on the MACD but once again price action is still forming higher highs I have been saying I have been warning you guys several times about it and we are seeing the exact same playing out right now once again here we are seeing a bearish divergence playing out on the MACD for all the candles giving me a signal that we could be seeing a trend reverse from here on and it was of course already indicating it on this candle over here so yeah, pretty interesting what we're about to go see here. Uh, but for me, I will be, of course, remain a little bit careful here. I will be still standing on the sidelines. And of course, if I accumulate the position, we'll be for sure notifying it like I told you before. But these are, of course, very scary times to trade here. And I I like to, to see Bitcoin, of course, while Bitcoin was trading on this range over here, it was easier to trade. But right now, uh, Bitcoin is ignoring all the bearish um, signals. So that's the reason why I will be remaining a little bit more careful since it is not suiting my strategy as a trader. So let me as well continue here and discuss the last thing here and also probably the most important thing since um analyzing the daily candles is very important and i did earlier today a very interesting tweet uh, that's also a reason why to follow me uh, right now here i was saying the daily time frame on bitcoin remains to look pretty bearish we are still um we are still seeing several bearish divergences uh indicating a trend reversal i expect the same chart behavior as the beginning of 2021 here where we are going to see of course a cool off period getting started before moving up once again and the reason and i will be explaining it a little bit here right now here is in the beginning of 2021 here of course we saw, of course, a move towards the upside correction, move towards the upside correction, move towards the upside correction. That will be probably the same chart behavior. And if we're going to, go, and if we're looking on the signs where we were seeing a trend reversal, it was usually either a bearish divergence that we were seeing, of course, on the daily candles, or um, yeah, as well bearish divergence. So we were seeing all the time a bearish divergence signal playing out here, and this was the confirmation of bearish divergence. Uh, this was the confirmation of sorry this was the confirmation of this bearish divergence you can see where the candles are becoming lime and then um, it is indicating that we are continuing the trend towards the downside as well over here 
uh, as well over here. So uh, we are seeing, of course, the same things here. And right now, I want to be um, expecting the same, and I want to be, of course, see as well the same chart behavior. And that's, of course, my personal opinion and my personal expectation. We could be seeing Bitcoin decrease ever so slightly back to 40k. It will be not bad. And after that, we start to go for our next leg. Maybe once again to 60k. After that, we decrease and we go up once again here. And the reason how I will be, of course, I will be for sure, I will be accumulating a long position and a massive one if we're going to de decrease. So please don't be uh, hating the game if we're going to decrease. You want to be taking the opportunity and you want to be looking at, oh, nice, this is a good opportunity to accumulate. And right now, the reason why I do expect Bitcoin could be cooling off here is since we have been forming a lower high here on the MACD, um, as well giving once again as a signal, the buyers are getting, um, the buyers are losing their strength and we could be seeing a trend reversal. As well on the RSI, we are seeing decreasing RSI. We are, de we are seeing decreasing buying uh, strength here. As well as signifying that the sellers are that the buyers are getting exhausted, and that we could be looking for a trend reversal for uh, for for yeah ever so slightly. So make sure that you are prepared for it, and make sure that you are not going to fall for it because there is no chart that's going up in a straight line, and people are willing to buy in at the top. But if we're going to decrease later this month, probably no one is willing to buy over there. Where I will be, of course, buy over there, and it will be already say it. Everyone is going to say this is going to be a dead cat bounce here. This is a relief a rally, um, probably not going to happen. Uh, but pretty interesting how it will be ending of course you want to be seeing bitcoin create still new autumn highs here um is this the end of the bull run no for sure not um we are just getting started but this is also the thing that probably everyone is going to say but this is how the game works everyone uh, they, they want to they want you to sell your bitcoin but please don't sell on the next minor drop off here since we are going to see a minor drop off after this i am can i i will be already telling it to you we are going to see another significant correction and we will be starting to move up after that once again here so I'm personally looking forward towards it. Hopefully, you enjoyed this video. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure that you are going to smash up the like button. Once again, say one, two, three in the chat if you watched till this point in the video. It's absolutely a big shout out to you. Let me as well know in the comment section about which altcoin I should be making a video. Should I do another video about XRP? Should I do another video maybe about Cardano? Um, I will be probably working out another two videos here and maybe even a live stream after that. So, guys, thank you so much for watching and peace out. Goodbye.